what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel now look at this question on the board which says evaluate the square root of 1000 times 1001 times 1002 times 1003 plus 1. well you can go ahead and pause this video give it a go and come back when you're ready but make sure not to use a calculator well if you look at this first term second third and fourth you notice that they are consecutive and because of that we're going to say let x be equal to the lowest among them which is 1000 so our expression becomes the square root of 1000 which means x times 1001 which means x plus 1 times 1002 which means x plus 2 times 1003 which means x plus 3 and then plus 1. now our next step will be to pair x with x plus 3. so the expression becomes x times x plus 3. we're going to be pairing these two together times x plus 1 times x plus 2 and then plus 1. so let's expand the brackets so we're going to be getting x squared plus 3x then in this other two expressions we're going to be getting x squared plus 3x plus 2 and then plus 1. now notice that from this first bracket we have x squared plus 3x and from this second bracket we also have x squared plus 3x so we can therefore say that let x squared plus 3x be equal to p that means wherever i see x squared plus 3x i'm going to be putting p there so my expression becomes the square root of p times p plus 2 so i'm going to be writing p plus 2 and then plus 1. now let's open up this bracket so we have p times p that's p squared plus 2p plus 1. Very good. So you notice that we have a quadratic expression which can be factorized into p plus 1 or squared. Now notice that the square root and the square can cancel out. So leaving behind p plus 1. And we said let x squared plus 3s be p. So let's put this expression in place of p this time. So we have x squared plus 3x and then plus 1. Now this expression is easy for us to evaluate since we know that x is equal to 1000. So putting 1000 in place of x, we're going to be having 1000 squared plus 3 times 1000 and then plus 1. So 1000 squared, we have 1 million. So we have 1 million plus 3 times 1000 is 3000 then plus one so adding this together i'm going to be having one million three thousand and one and there you have it well feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video go ahead and smash the like button subscribe if you haven't turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos and like i always say until next time take care